first, we'll kind of start by just giving you a, a tour of what smart one-on-ones looks like when you go into Reclaim. We know that many people have a lot of one-on-ones on their calendar. So we'll actually automatically detect uh, all of those one-on-ones. In this case, it looks like we found 16 existing one-on-ones on your calendar. And you can review them right from here. Uh, we'll not only pull in uh, the title of the one-on-one, we'll even do things like detect uh, how frequently the one-on-one happens. So is it weekly or is it bi-weekly or is it monthly? In this case, all my one-on-ones here are weekly. The length of the meeting. So is it a 25-minute meeting or a 50-minute meeting? And then we'll even pull in the ideal time based on when it's usually scheduled on your calendar. We sort of look back at the last 90 days of, of scheduling and kind of try to figure out like, what's the ideal recurring frequency for this meeting? And so if I pull one of these up, you can see I've got you know the person who is invited here. I've got the title pre-populated. I've got all the duration information. I've got the you know the start date and the ideal date. And so a lot of what you need to set up the one-on-one is already pre-populated. Um, but we're actually just going to create one from scratch. Um, so I'm going to invite a, another user here. Um, so you can use this recommended title that'll autofill um, kind of your name and their name. Um, or you can uncheck this and you can add whatever title you want, one-on-one, -on -one, sync up, whatever we want to do. But I'm actually just going to use the recommended title. Um, I can put in links to an agenda. And this is uh, really a great way to keep track of like rolling agendas for your one-on-ones. Um, so it could be, you know, docs.google.com and these will become clickable once the event gets created. And then this is really all about the actual scheduling of the event. So really what I'm telling Reclaim here is like, how, how long do I need? And so let's say 30 minutes sounds good to me. How frequently do I need to meet? Do I want to meet weekly, every other week, monthly, quarterly? You know, you can think of them as like rough, squishy approximations of when you're going to meet. You know, weekly is like every roughly seven days is when you're going to meet. And so the idea here is that we give you flexibility around when you can meet and, and kind of keep your one on ones sort of fluid while still making sure that you get the touch points that you need and the sort of intervals and cadence that you need them. And then you can give it a start date. You can say, you know, I want this thing to start as soon as possible. I could say, you know, next Tuesday and we'll auto populate that. Um, I can type in an exact date here. Um, and so this is just this is just kind of the the core of like, you know, how long, how often, and when does it need to start? Um, this section is really one of the most important in terms of deciding when you want these meetings to be scheduled, kind of what days and times are eligible to be scheduled for these one on ones. And this is really where we get into a concept that we call meeting hours. Um, in Reclaim, we have different what we call time policies, and these different time policies sort of govern how different things get scheduled. So with working hours, that's going to be your solo work tasks and your synced calendar events. Uh, personal hours are going to control your personal tasks. So if you only want to do personal tasks on the weekend, you can see here I've got uh, my personal hours set to early in the morning and kind of late in the evening, Monday through Friday. And then on Saturday, it's kind of all day and Sunday, it's all day. Um, but meeting hours are really what are going to be used for your smart one-on-ones. And you can make these sort of a, a subset, right? So let's say you're the kind of person that's like, I don't really like meeting on Mondays and I don't really like meeting on Fridays. I really only want to meet Tuesday through Thursday. I'm okay with 8 a.m. And I'll, I'll actually meet as late as 6 p.m. And I can actually copy this to all of the time. So now I've got basically Tuesday through Thursday as sort of my eligible days um, for scheduling the one-on-one. And so when I go back to this one-on-one, -on -one, this option here that says sort of any time with mutual availability, what that really means is any time within my meeting hours and the other person's meeting hours, just kind of book it, book it at any time. And we'll, we'll get into kind of the ideal time here in a second. Um, this option is if you have a specific one-on-one -on -one or a set of one-on-ones that you know you want to have on certain days, or you know that you don't want to have on certain days. So let's say you're uh, meeting with a team member who really doesn't like meeting on Wednesdays for some reason, that maybe that's their worst day in terms of productivity or meeting load, um, you can just uncheck that from here. And this is basically saying, we'll only try to schedule it in these days. But in this case, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll stick with the original option, this sort of easy button option. So this is just using my meeting hours. And then we get into ideal day and time. What's the best day and the best time to have this, this meeting? Um, so in my case, I actually really like uh, Tuesday meetings, and I'm going to say 9 a.m. is kind of when I'd like to do this thing. 
You can add video conferencing. Uh, we have a Zoom integration, a Google Meet integration, but then you can also just paste in a Zoom link here. Uh, another thing you can do is if for whatever reason, neither of these options appeal to you or work for you, or if you use some other you know, platform that, um, that you have a Chrome extension for or something like that, um, you can actually add video conferencing to the meetings after they've been scheduled directly in Google Calendar. So we give you a lot of different ways to add video conferencing to meetings if, if you'd like that. Um, and then I can send a note uh, as part of my invitation. Sometimes it's really helpful to kind of give people some context about what they're kind of signing up for, um, not only in terms of Reclaim, but also in terms of like, this is kind of a new way of us managing our one-on-one -on -one meetings where we're not going to have to worry about the scheduling of it. And we're going to kind of let Reclaim sort of take that over and, you know, let me know if you have any questions. So I can say, you know, hey, Henry, uh, I'm giving this a try for our one-on-ones. Let me know if you have any questions. So now I can send my invitation. And so you can see uh, it, it looks like the invite got sent and we're, we're going to uh, show you in a second here kind of what that experience looks like for the attendee. This, this actually hasn't been scheduled because the other person hasn't opted in yet and they haven't accepted the one-on-one, but as soon as they do, you'll see events here that start getting scheduled. One thing to note is that we sent an email that I'll show you here in a moment um, that outlines kind of what one-on-ones are and gives people a way to accept or decline it. Um, but you can also just copy this link and send it to someone through Slack or send it through email or whatever whatever's most comfortable for you. So we've kind of given you a couple ways to let people know that you've set this one-on-one -on -one up. And what I'll do is I'll actually uh, pull this up now as the attendee. And so this is what attendees are going to see when they open up uh, the email or when they click on that onboarding link that I showed you in the previous step. Um, they get a bit of information about one-on-ones, kind of how they work and why they're, why they're a, a nicer way to help manage your meetings. Um, we talk about things like rescheduling. We give a bit of information about meeting hours and give you a bit of information about Reclaim. So really just kind of a little intro to how the feature works and kind of why, why it might be useful for you. We then kind of ask you if you want to accept the invite, and we give you kind of a rough idea of when the meeting is going to happen, who is it with, and what the frequency is, and then I accept it. And now, since I'm somebody who, you know, in this scenario, hasn't signed up for Reclaim just yet, um, I'm going to actually log in using my email, um, and I'm going to use the email that was used for uh, signing up. And you can see we've actually pre-populated that email here because we know that that's who the, the invite was for. And so once I've logged in, I'm just going to tell Reclaim when I'm available for meetings. And I only have to do this once as an attendee. I'm basically just setting my meeting hours, and these are going to be my, my meeting hours for all one-on-ones going forward. I can change them anytime I like, but you only have to set them up once. And so I'm going to pick uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. I might just say I don't want to meet on Mondays. So I'll pick this as my, as my meeting hours. Um, and now I'm done. I've accepted uh, the one-on-one. -on -one, and in a moment here, you'll see this actually gets scheduled. And it looks like uh, the meeting got scheduled for Tuesday, October 26th at 9 a.m., which was actually our ideal time, uh, if you remember from the organizer side, and also uh, works for both of our meeting hours. Um, so that's super great. So when I go and actually take a look at this event in Google Calendar, um, you'll notice kind of a couple of fun things about this event. So the first thing is that um, all of that information that we talked about, you know, the sort of Google Docs information, I actually didn't put video conferencing into this meeting, but um, like I said, I can change the one-on-one -on -one information to add Zoom. Um, but one of the really cool things about this is this one-on-one -on -one is actually marked as free time right now. And what that means is that it's going to show as available to other people. And the reason Reclaim does this is it basically looks at your day, you know, for both parties and kind of says like, how much mutual time do you have to do this one-on-one -on -one today? And if the answer is like, there's actually quite a bit of flexibility, then we're going to block the event, but we're going to mark it as free time. And that gives you more flexibility, both of you more flexibility around accommodating other commitments or accommodating conflicts. Um, conversely, as my day fills up, or as we get closer to that meeting time, we get within 24 hours of that meeting time, the event's going to get marked as busy. And that means it's going to get kind of uh, locked down and blocked out from other people booking over it. The other thing you'll notice about this is that even as the attendee, I can skip this thing for the whole week, which is something you can't do today in Google Calendar at all if you're an attendee of a meeting, even if the other person's turned on the guests can modify events permission. So I can skip this thing. I can reschedule it directly from here. I can even do things like block out over that event 
and say, you know, I'm busy right now. In the moment here, you'll see that our one-on-one is actually going to get rescheduled because it's going to pick up that conflict and it's going to say, ah, this person's not available anymore. And there you go.